I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice in his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every aspect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race, to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions, so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the time of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, We should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them was Dionysus, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven, heaven and earth are full of glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him, 
Hallelujah. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. There's an old saying, pride cometh before the fall. I think we've all heard that at least once or twice. What we find in our first reading is Paul is now at Athens. Athens, once the great center of learning as far as philosophy and the arts, is now a shell of what it used to be. Rome has conquered Greece. Athens doesn't have the same weight it used to possess. And as Paul is there, he tries to approach the Athenians, their philosophers, their Stoics, through non-Jewish ideas. If you remember, he's been able to approach the Jews or the Jewish converts from the Gentile faith to uh, through Jewish ideas of the Old Testament. Now he's speaking strictly to Gentiles of pagan uh, origin who have not gone over to Judaism and he tries a different approach. He tries using their ideas, their philosophy and in their arrogance, oh, we scoff at you. We'd like to hear you on this matter another time. And I thought to myself this morning, in the midst of a society that is on the way down, it's been on the way down, it's continuing to go on the way down, in their arrogance, they refuse to acknowledge it and say, well, maybe, maybe, what we have professed, what we have believed, the life we have lived has led us to this point. We're no longer what we used to be. We're on the decline. Maybe we need to take an honest evaluation of ourselves, our beliefs, our society, and say, do we need to find an alternative route? Do we need to change? Can we improve? And they scoff at the idea. We cannot fault them. How often have we done the same thing? When people or God, through our own prayer, has pointed out areas of improvement, we have responded. We'd love to hear you on that subject another time, just not at this time. We don't say that so often, but we do it and we practice it by our actions. This is where humility and honest humility must play a fundamental role in our daily prayer life. 
we have to be honest with ourselves, how we're doing, what needs to improve, etc. If we do not, then we will continue to travel down useless roads, roads that do not fulfill us. So this is what my prayer brought me to today. I offer it to you. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely, the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, God. Pray. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, pray. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness which no one can take from them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, pray. Pray. For our own community that may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our community who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Bob Bachman, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the most blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bless for you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Bless for you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Let us be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, I will and give all the holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. 
he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, and the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I know that you should enter into my room. But I'm going to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion at the front. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God defeat him when humbly pray. And that you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust in hell, Satan and all their evil spirits who wander through this world seeking to rule their souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus, Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, and her most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin, and Mother. Blessed be the Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be the gods and angels and his saints.